Hey everyone, uh, this is Anil Gupta. Um, I'm a CEO and co-founder of Multidots, Multicollab, and Dot Store. And today we are going to talk about Multicollab. And I have invited uh, Sagar Prajapati. Um, he has been uh, working on multiple different projects in Multidots, uh, but he has been also um, the chief architecture of uh, real-time co-editing in WordPress. So that's why um, I invited him here today so that we can discuss a little bit more about uh, how, what kind of technical architecture we are using right now in order to build real-time co-editing uh, in Multicollab. And also um, like his thought process and some of the other aspects about the real-time co-editing in WordPress and Multicollab. So I'll give a little bit uh, overview of uh, Multicollab. So Multicollab is, um, um, a real-time co-editing and collaboration in WordPress. So it solves a problem of um, online collaboration. So if you have been familiar with Google Doc, and if you know that in a Google Doc, you can leave comments and you can use suggestions mode, plus also multiple users can simultaneously edit a Google Doc. So with Multicollab, we are trying to bring all the collaboration features of Google Doc inside WordPress. So that's what is Multicollab, and I'm so excited to have Sagar today here. Hi, Sagar. Hello, sir. How are you? I am good. Uh, I am really excited about this session. Yeah, me too. I know we, you and I, we connect a lot on a weekly basis for the project updates and things like that. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's great that today people will be able to see a little bit of behind the scene of how we built real-time co-editing. So I'm also very excited. And yeah, so let's get it started, uh, Sagar. My first question to you is that if you can maybe explain the um, the architecture, technical architecture behind the, the real-time co-editing that we have built in Multicollab. OK. Uh, so uh, before uh, before start this, uh, collaboration feature uh, when when we get this idea. So we have first thought of uh, how we transfer the data from one user to another user real time. Okay, so after we little bit research on it, we found that web, WebSocket is the one part where we can transfer the data from one to another user really fast. So we have used WebSocket for this and then we have uh, we we are using uh, basic wordpress structure like uh, using uh, using native part of wordpress and extend it with the filter and uh, hook and filter side so we will not have any uh, drawback after once if uh, wordpress is upgrade or uh, any part is changed so it will always work so we 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 have used uh, a native part and who can or uh, and use of who can filter for the extending uh, wordpress architecture yes and uh, some of the technology we have used like i have said we we are using websocket for this and also use the yjs plus uh, as we use yjs so we are also using yjs websocket so it will be easy to uh, combine both the things and Another thing is about the, uh, as I said, uh, data pass from one server to another server. So we have combined all these things like WebSocket, YJS, and uh, uh, WebSocket, YJS, plus uh, Gutenberg things, and pass data to each other. So this is a uh, basic structure of uh, our, our real-time co-editing. Yes. Nice. Um, yeah, thanks for sharing that. and. Uh... Definitely, there are some new um, keywords in what you shared, uh, like WebSocket. You also mentioned about YJS. So um, yeah, let's go a little bit deeper on that. So tell us a little bit about the what is the importance of WebSocket for uh, real-time co-editing? OK. Yes, so uh, we can pass data uh, from a multiple point of view. Like we, uh, we can use the uh, Ajax, Ajax method without reloading, we can pass the data using Ajax. But if we talk about Ajax, Ajax uh, take a bit more time to connect uh, connect the data from one person to another person because uh, some they are checking SSL connection and uh, then pass the data from one 
uh, one person to another person after data completion they are closed the uh, connection and when we we call it again they will re repeat this process that why it's little bit uh, slower ajax process is little bit slower so hmm. now we 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 move to the web socket which is faster because they are on uh, only for this type of connection thing we are they are only uh, request once and then uh, when connection is built they were, they were not uh, uh, requesting for the connection or ssl connection so that that's why the uh, web socket will pass the data uh, frequently and fa fast better than ajax mechanism yes right and another uh, another uh, topic is uh, another new topic is uh, yjs so yes yjs is, is a framework which is built for the uh, pass real time data using web socket yes so I so think... yjs is javascript react jquery like what kind of uh... yes yjs is javascript plus react library right so so yjs framework is built on uh, react and javascript yes. right. got it okay and you mentioned about that you compared uh, websocket and ajax and you say that ajax is also asynchronous uh, data transmission but uh, why websocket also does the same but websocket uh, compared to ajax it leaves the the port open so you can have a faster and secure communication so talking about secure communication so yeah tell us a little bit about um your assessment of websocket and how secure the websocket is in general yes uh, so websocket is uh, same as uh, uh, we can say ajax like security but for a more secure way we, we are also passing the token to uh, token so we and we will match those token and if we both uh, token is uh, matched then and then we we are connect with the websocket and multiple user got it and so in order to use the use real time co-editing that we have built and mm -hmm. uh, let me just tell our audience that right now the real time co-editing is still in a beta so we haven't officially actually um, launched that with multi collab but it mm -hmm. is still available for a demo and we will share the link for where you can actually try uh, the real time co-editing in wordpress through this uh, uh, this this demo so we'll we'll add that link later on in the in the video description and the notes uh, but going back to the web socket so um in order to use real time co editing on wordpress website uh, you mentioned that web socket is something that is very critical and crucial uh, for the mm -hmm. for the two way communication my question to you is that how um compatible WebSocket is with the different types of hosting environment, hosting servers. So if you can maybe let us tell us a little bit about uh, in order to use WebSocket or activate or enable WebSocket on a server, you know, what are your assessment on that? Okay, uh, so to enable this, we have uh, prepared uh, one guide uh, to uh, enable this WebSocket with the uh, uh, nginx or apache or can you, uh, can you share that uh, guide uh, yes on screen, uh, sure. maybe that would be great uh, that people yes, can sure. see yes uh, is it visible yeah now i can see it okay yes yeah, so as i said we are using uh, websocket yjs plus react uh, to implement this real time co editing feature and if we talk about the uh, websocket React socket thing. So to enable web socket in Nginx, uh, we have prepared guide for Nginx Apache and uh, uh, our client, uh, mostly client, client is uh, about the VIP side. So we have also prepared uh, for them too. So yes, so for the Nginx, we will need to go to the uh, Nginx configuration file. And when someone pass the data to uh, WS directory and uh, with the 8080 port, at that time, we are we are connecting it with the uh, web socket things. So this using this code, you can enable the web socket in your server side, and then we will need to install the node 
and after uh, add this command it will uh, connect the node with the web socket thing and then you can uh, you can uh, use the web socket using uh, nginx yes so this is about the uh, nginx and same way uh, for the apache we will just need to change the configuration file with this uh, this virtual host mechanism and pass the port with the 8080 and start your node so so same way it will be also started with the you can see web socket 8080 port yes and about the vip hosting so before, for, before we go to the hosting uh, sagar i have one question that my understanding of web socket is that that it is a part of a web server so uh, apache or nginx you know so pretty much like all the hosting companies nowadays they already have either one of them or both you know nginx or apache so as long as, as long as they uh, have nginx or apache or any web server and if it allows or supports the web socket then they will be able to use real time co editing is that correct right. yes right great awesome so um oh, web socket now everyone is it's clear, you know, and when it comes to the YJS, uh, you said that it's a React plus JavaScript, and that's what we are utilizing uh, as a framework in order to build the real-time co-editing. My question mm -hmm. to you is, um, why did you select YJS? And did you also, uh, did you and your team, you know, also researched um, the other types of solutions that uh, also have been a potential candidate for to build the real-time co-editing mm -hmm. yes uh, so uh before choosing the yjs we uh, we have uh, another other option to like uh, choose the other framework like yjs or creating our own yjs socket so first of all if we talk about creating our own uh, own yjs type of framework then it will take some time to implement it so we 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 have check another option like if if someone can uh someone can easily we can adopt easily some other technology so we ha we have also go through some other other technology too but uh, uh if we, if i talk about the yjs so at that time uh, we see that uh, they are providing real time uh, real time of feature like we need for the uh, WordPress editor side. And also they are also providing like uh, active inactive call. So if user will come to the editor side at the time we get the call from the YJS like someone is uh, added in the uh, added in the editor. And if someone leave, it will get uh, give us a call like someone is leave. So, and also we see that uh, uh, another solution from the WordPress WordPress core side, which is already built, but it is old feature and with it is uh, built with the old Gutenberg and not compatible with it. But uh, they are also using the same type of like YJS web socket thing. So after this, we will get some uh, confidence on it. Like we can use YJS and so uh, after this, we we will use we have used the YJS for the our real time co editing feature. All right, mm -hmm. makes sense. And do you know um, besides multi collab real time co editing, is there any other prototypes or demos that other developers might have built it? Do you know any of them? And what is your take on those demos if you know them? Yes, uh, I have seen that uh, another other demo is all, also there. Like uh, AS Block team has also built this uh, real time coding fe editing feature. But uh, as I said, it is built for the old Gutenberg, and uh, there is no any update uh, till uh, from uh, we can say from a uh, few years. Hmm. And also, I have checked. Uh, uh, WordPress, WordPress repo, WordPress Gutenberg repo. There is also feature uh, for the real time co editing, but uh, it's not uh, touched since uh, 2000 or uh, 2020. 
can say. Right. So there are a few demos, but there has no much updates, um, regular updates in the recent last last recent few months, something like that, right? right? Mm -hmm. Got it. Great. Um, no, so um, I think um, I did try to look for some other real-time co-editing prototypes or demos, and I did find a couple of them. I don't have, maybe some of the ones that you mentioned will be the same one, but I agree with you that uh, at this moment, I don't think so that uh, you know the, the demo that you and your team has built with Multicollab, I think that is much more sleek and smooth and also pretty much works really well. And uh, so since we have launched our multi-edit, uh, real-time co-editing, we are calling internally as multi-edit. Um, so when we launched that, I think more than 500 people actually signed up for the demo. So there's definitely a great interest and uh, on the real-time collaboration uh, features, uh, people are very excited and, and, and desperately waiting for uh, the collaborations to be a reality in WordPress. Um, and yeah, so with that note, I think the last question, Sagar, I have for you is um, what are the team, you and the team are working on right now on in the real time editing um, development? So if you can maybe share a little bit of a roadmap of what are those uh, features or things that you're working on? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, so uh... If you see in our current demo, we have uh, lots of progress like uh, 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 support with the, all the native blocks and also we, we have uh, check it with the other dynamic blocks like uh, we can say it's, uh, our own or uh, custom blocks. So it is also tested with it. But if we talk about the current uh, roadmap for this, so we are now uh, focusing on the uh, managing user, like uh, if you see uh, in the Google Doc or uh, other real-time framework site, so so someone will join to the demo at that time. We we are planning to see the notification like Anil is joined or Sagar is joined, and if someone will leave at that time, we will uh, provide a notification like Anil is leave, Sagar is leave, something like this. Also. We are uh, we are highlighting some sort of user like this user as active currently active participate or some are the uh, some are some are not in the active participant uh, participant list. So this type of functionality we are building with the active and in inactive user role side. Also, we are working on uh, creating history for this type of things like. Uh, history for uh, when someone is adding so it will uh, it will save the revision things uh, so we are checking the possi uh, possible solution for revision history store so that's a test type of uh, new ch challenges we are facing and we are working on it yeah um, no you you mentioned two good really two good points sagar one is it's more about i think user interface where when somebody joins in in the document or they leave. Um, so having the right sort of interface and notification so that um, people who are already actively editing the document, they can see who has just joined to collaborate and if someone leaves. Um, so yeah, I, am, I love that. And I think Google Doc has done a really good job um, with that. And um, as, as we are kind of trying to replicate the similar user experience i think that, that that would be great and the second thing you mentioned about the post revision uh history um so yes yeah, so i think that's something that i'm also very um intrigued about that topic uh, because when it comes to post revision you know right now we have a very standard linear post revision because there is only one person can edit a document at the time in 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 wordpress but it will be interesting when multiple users are collaborating in document uh, in a blog post and editing the content here and there then how we maintain that uh, the post revisions you know whether the post revisions will be by the user or also 
like by the block. So there are there, there is definitely some discussion going on in a, in a WordPress.org thread. Um, and yeah, so I think that that is that is an interesting problem. And I must say that like finding the best user interface in order to build the post revision history interface as well as the tech stack behind that will be much more crucial for the success of um, the the real time collaboration. And this is not something that we are kind of building first time. This also I believe that for example Notion or Google Doc, like there are several other applications who also have a great um, a content revision and history interface and uh, the, the technology behind that. So yeah, um, it's something that we can also consider as an inspiration and learn from that, like how other uh, apps, content creation apps, you know, they manage their post, uh, the content revision histories and stuff like that. And yeah, maybe getting some inspiration from there and, and bringing it into the workplace is something that, in my opinion, is is, is a good way to to first step to start with. Right. Great. Thanks, Agar. It was a really great uh, discussion, and thanks for sharing all the behind the scene uh, thought process, roadmap, and some of the decisions that you made in order to design the the tech architect for real time co-editing uh, in, in WordPress and Multicolab. That was very helpful. And uh, yeah, we will have maybe another discussion another time where we'll go a little bit more deeper into WebSocket or some of the other technology that you mentioned today um, uh, in this in this video. Yes, uh, thank you so much, sir, to uh, give you a chance for this type of session and this type of work. Yes, uh, I am really excited about the this session also, and also the hopefully next session we will have a better uh, better discussion about the web socket YGS and other another uh, feature related to the real time quality. Yeah, no, I'm very grateful for your contribution, Sagar. Your and your team's contribution in in building this really complex uh, solution and uh, the problem that we are solving is is massive. You know, so I really appreciate all the efforts um, that you and your team has put in. And also, I think, uh, you know, by like doing this kind of like video series where um, you share the intimate details of how we build certain, certain features and how we solve certain problems in Multicolab, I think this might also be very great, very insightful and helpful to the other developers and, and developers as well in order to to get some inspiration so yeah thanks for inspiring um, other developers on working on problems like this and yeah we'll connect again uh, for maybe another topic and another time thanks agar